Hey guys, it's me again, welcome back. And today we are gonna go over what I consider to be the best running shoes of 2019. At least the best running shoes that I bought or I received. And I say that because I got these shoes from runrepeat.com. So I did not buy these, uh, they gave them to me uh, so I could do a written review and a video review, which I did. And I will tell you more about them in a little bit. But as you see, there are seven pairs of shoes between me and you. and my wife was not thrilled about this, that I bought, I think, six pairs of running shoes. That's probably the most I've bought in, like, ten years. Uh, normally, I buy a pair of running shoes once a year, I guess. Oh, that doesn't make sense. So, six and ten years. Maybe six and five years. Let's go with that. Uh, but because I bought so many, I wanted to break down which ones were the best out of this group. But I can't do it in like best overall, so I'm gonna put it into like three different categories: so best everyday shoe, best trail running shoe, and best road running shoe. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's get into this. All right, so first I'm gonna say which one is the better everyday shoe, and I say better because there's really two shoes or two pairs of shoes that should fit into this category. I mean, technically I could put the Cloud Swift in there, but these are definitely road running shoes. Uh, so we have the original on cloud right here. This is my trusty go-to shoe. Uh, I used to use these all the time for 5K races or this model until I upgraded to the cloud flyer. And then as you see, I have other shoes. A lot of people I know, especially some of my friends who work at Fleet Feet will tell you that the on cloud is a great everyday shoe. It's uh, cushioning is good for when you're just standing around uh, and you're, you're on your feet for eight hours a day. Uh, but I also have the Adidas or Adidas Ultra Boost 19th, not the 20s, but the 19th. So this is last year's model, but I bought these earlier this month. If you guys haven't seen, I don't know what that was, but if you haven't seen uh, several YouTube running channels, uh, such as Kofuzi, uh, The Fod Runner, 40 runs and run like heller have all talked about the ultra boost 19s or talked about the ultra boost 20s and said that you should save your money on the 20s and just buy the 19s now these are should be shoes that i would run in they don't feel comfortable enough for me to to run races with i haven't done a full review on these things yet but i have noticed that these are very good for everyday shoes in fact uh with run like heller's a review of these shoes she said these would be good for pretty much everyday use so it comes down to these two now I'll tell you right now these feel good but I'm gonna give it to the on cloud because since day one or even the first minute when I put these on I didn't get any discomfort with them uh, with the ultra boost uh, the ultra boost 19 it felt great the first four hours but then I had issues with the lip area to the point where it, it felt really tight and I had to take my socks off. And I'm like, I can walk around with these barefoot. I do that with some of my other on cloud shoes and I wanted to give them another shot. So the second day I wore them to work and it was still a little tight, but it was not as tight as before. And finally on the third full day of wearing them, the lip area, it loosened up now these are size us men's 10 all these shoes are us men's size 10 and i have not had that issue where it just felt restrictive up here now like i said i did break these in and they feel good but i'm gonna have to give it to the on cloud as the everyday shoe if you can pick up a pair of ultra boost 19s and you have the time to break them in which you will have time i would recommend go ahead and do that because this is about $30 cheaper than these. These retail for $120, $130 US dollars. And I was able to get these for, I think, $86. All right, now to go to the better uh, trail running shoes. And I say better because, <laughs> again, two pairs of shoes for the category. Uh, as you see, out of these seven pairs of shoes that I have, five of them are on, and on is notorious for picking up rocks, twigs, acorns, burrs, anything in these. So these are not trail running shoes. I have not 
run with the Ultra Boost 19s. But I did wear them out at a couple state parks yesterday, and they did feel good. But I'm not gonna. I did. I was wearing jeans. I'm not gonna run with those. So it came down to the On Cloud Venture, and this is the 2018 style. This is not the new style, or the 2019 style. I got these on sale or on clearance by On on their website, and then got the Hoka One One Sky Arcali. If you look at the Hoka website, and you look at their, their YouTube channel, you'll see that they've got a 15 second clip of some dude running with these shoes over rocks and everything. Video looks great, especially for a little clip. But I did 50 miles running in these shoes. And these, I guess because I'm in the South, they only felt good for three miles, maybe four. After that, my feet were sweating like crazy in there. It just felt so hot. I will say the grips are phenomenal on these. I think that's my word of the year is phenomenal. Uh, but again, I'll have to give it to the On Cloud Venture. Because I was able to do a half marathon, uh, a trail half marathon with these. I was able to do a couple 15K trail races with this. I did do a ultra half marathon with the... Hoka Sky or Cali, and I'll tell you, I felt a lot more comfortable with this on than I did with this. My feet were so hot in this, and maybe it's because it was, again, in the south and in the summer, whereas this was, this might have been in the south when I was wearing them, but it was uh, late September and it wasn't as hot, but I had no issues with these shoes. There's just something about getting a good pair of trail shoes out there. I do own one other pair of trail running shoes, and that's the Ultra Lone Peak. But I bought them last year, so they don't count in this category. Uh, but I would put them in between these two when it came to running. But if you want a straight-up hiking shoe, this is the way to go. These guys, I'll say were pretty much perfect when it came to, to hiking. $200, though, that's a little too much to spend for those. All right, so... Let's turn those off to the side. And now it comes down to the best road running shoe. And then we've got, I guess in order of purchase, the On Cloud Swift, which was the first iteration to have the Helion Super Foam. These felt really good. And I'm gonna have to do a year end review on these on its own. But one of the issues that a lot of people had and, I, and 40 runs was very quick to point this one out was it was developing holes in there and it's very sh within a short time it was developing holes and people would tell you or they had people say that oh yeah we know about those but we're still going to let it go i do use these sometimes as everyday shoes i would wear them at work uh, i do love wearing them I would do 5 and 10K shoes with them, or races with them. i do some uh, training runs with them. But those holes are definitely a detriment to recommending these to people. Doesn't mean I won't recommend them. Just I'm going to let them know that if they're spending over $100 on shoes, these feel good, but do expect that you're going to develop holes. The next pair is the OnCloud Stratus. These developed holes as well, but on wanted to replace them for me because they started developing creases and this is starting to get creases too they got them a lot sooner like within three miles of a run i had creases on there made it look like i ran 50 miles so they wanted so they replaced them for free for me i've used them for 5 and 10k races and i have yet to get any holes to develop in these shoes which is amazing but i think it's only a matter of time and then just earlier this month, I picked up the OnCloud Flow. I finally got a pair of fast trainers, and these feel great. I need to do a second impression review on these. I can't call it a first impression, even though I probably will in the title just to like get people to watch it, but it's really a second impression. These feel good, and the dogs are running for some reason. But... These are, these are definitely built for short distance. This is built for medium and long distance because you've got the double layer. 
Cloud Tech Pockets. And for that reason, these, the OnCloud Stratus is my, I guess my shoe of the year. Like I said, I haven't developed any holes in them. I don't think I'm gonna develop any holes in the OnCloud Flow because the, the heel area, the inside, the sock feels different than the Cloud Stratus. But these have a proven track record with me when it comes to running. So that is what I have for my shoes, shoes of the year because it's three different categories. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And if you guys have any questions, uh, go ahead, comment down below. Uh, I think that's about it. I'll try and put out some more stuff, even though there's like only two, there's only a couple days left in the, in the year, but we'll see what we can get. Cause I do need to put out something on these guys and I need to write or write. I need to do something about these and then talk more about these later, but that this will probably be in January. All right. Till next time. Bye guys.